October. It's Manuka. It's 43 degrees, and this is a good day for fish and computer video. The fish video I downloaded to you was filmed right out here. It looks like an aquarium scene. Aquariums are relaxing and therapeutic. That gave me an idea. I could turn my computer monitor into a beautiful flat screen aquarium. And you can too. By using that video to make your own screensaver out of it. I'll show you how to do it. Come around, just look over my shoulder. You already know how to make any picture file into the desktop background on your Macintosh, but to make a video into screensaver, you have to create an application for that. But don't worry, it's easy and it takes less than a minute. I'll show you how. You'll make your application with Quartz, which is a developer tool that comes with your Mac. It's part of Xcode. So go to the spotlight icon in the right upper corner of your screen. Type in Quartz. If you don't see Quartz Composer pop up, it probably means that you did not install Xcode when you installed your last operating system on your computer. But this is no problem. Just go to the official Apple App Store and type in Xcode. Then download it. It's free. Okay, now you have Quartz. Launch it. Quartz gives you several templates. Of course, I will pick the template that says Screensaver. Here is the application template and it has several objects in it. The three objects on the left, you don't need them. Drag across them and hit Delete. You, there's a object named Web. You click on that, delete that. You don't need that one either. These are the three objects that you will use. The fourth object is the Fish 2 video that you want to make into this application. Here's the Fish 2 video right here and I'm going to click and drag it into the template. The file turns into another object. Now the object has several are called resources. Click on the image resource in the Fish 2 video and drag it to the image resource on your application and you're done. This is your finished application. You can review it in the viewer window. Now just save your new application in your users library. Go to file and then save. But you see you can't save your applica application to your library. It isn't listed. See here's my user Clyde. No library. Apple won't let you navigate to your own library files ever since Leopard, but there's a workaround for that. I'll show you a bit later. For now, I'll just have to save my new application temporarily to the desktop, and I will call it Go Fish. The Go Fish application appears on my desktop. Now I can quit Quartz. You can also close the window for your Fish 2 video, but if you ever move the video from the file location it's in now, you'll have to create a new application because the old one won't work anymore. While in the Finder, choose the Go menu. Once again, you'll see that the user library is not available, but here's the workaround. With my left hand, I press the Option button, and this time in the Go button, library shows up right here. Choose it. I think this is slightly easier than using terminal with a CD command. Now I'll navigate down to the screensaver folder in my library and it's usually empty. I'll just drag the fish screensaver application from my desktop and drop it into screensavers in my library. And now I'm done. My new screensaver is all ready to use. Now to use your new screensaver. You probably already know how to choose a video for your screensaver. There are three four ways of doing that. The easiest for me is to right click or control click somewhere in the middle of nowhere on your desktop and choose change, top, change desktop background. In the screen that appears you will see the desktop pictures but now you want to click on the screensaver and here are the usual canned Apple screensavers. 
and we scroll through them and at the bottom you see our brand new Go Fish video. Choose it. I always like to click on the hot corners and put the screen saver in the left upper corner. Now let's check out our new screen saver. I'll just mouse over to the left upper corner and see what happens. Enjoy your new aquarium.